Because we need to go to, like, the sanctuary place we were in at one point. Yeah, this is where we need to be. Do you like statue? Guess me that one of these. Just does me. Hey, you don't think. And there are enemies in here. Uh, interestingly enough, I put up my shield, I can actually do my traditional stab and poke, which is nice. I missed, be I missed being able to do that. Unfortunately, it also costs more stamina, which is a downside. Use Fragrant Branch of Yore. Oh, you poor lady. You got... Oh, your clothes are ruined. Prism stone. I was attacked and turned. I owe you my love. Oh. Um, but do you have any? I'll take any anything at all. Just put it on the ground. Uh, we'll give her the Hollow Soldier armor. And trousers. Give change of clothes. Give her clothes to wear. Increases defense temporarily strengthens pyromancy flame fireball. Thank you. After I change into this, hmm, I'm not sure where, but perhaps my tulip. Like, my question is, how do you even use Pyromancy? Because I never used that in Dark Souls 1, sadly. Now we talk to Ben Hart of Jugo. We learned a joy. So the next time we see her here, it'll be in Majula. So we pull the lever. Oh, nope. Nope, I'm being attacked.
Lock shields, boys. Oh no, they're gonna... Yeah, it's so nice to have my shield back. Or at least an, a, a shield. Like, you don't remember just how much you miss having, like, any sort of shield from, like, a previous game until you realize, like, you don't get a 100% block shield until, uh... Like, halfway into the game here. Or at least it seals. An Estus Flash Shard. Nice. I would love to be able to heal more. Alright, let's see if they hit anything up here. And they did! Enemies! Which, to be fair, uh, I do kind of need the souls here. So just let them come to me. But the uh, secret little bonfire there, that's something I'm going to have to keep in mind. And we're just going to have to keep trying to... Jump on over there. There we go. Life gym. We need more of those because we are poor and I am not sure what the heck you are, but you're definitely a uh, dangerous opponent. Drop anything? Germ Helm. And a Soul of Proud Knight and Human Effigy. Both of which we could use. Alright, so let's, uh. Fog Fatty. Message. Shaded Woods. Ah, uh, well, this place is sketchy. Oh. 
In the name of the sun, I punish you. Yeah, Halberd is the way to go. Yeah, uh, it'd be nice if I didn't have to, uh... Like, deal with these savages here. Especially the rock-throwing ones. launching a firework in the middle of the night. Like, oh, Pharaoh's Lockstone. Nice. Like, the thing is, is, like, I record in, like, the middle of the night because no one's awake to bother me. And, like, I don't want to bother anyone else while I'm recording. accidentally backstabbed someone when I didn't mean to. Um, well, that's awkward. I'm just going to have to use those life gems. Bonfire time. Sweetness. Alright, that gives me the opportunity to go take a break here. And travel back on over to Majula. But I will be right back. So, uh, skip ahead to when I come back. There we go. So, uh, we're gonna head back to Majula before we, uh, do anything here. Because we're in the Shaded Woods, but we want to head to Majula.
I don't have any attunement slots, so I can't... I can't even, uh, use pyromancy. Is that a shot? Here, to see light, however faint. But we need to upgrade our Eskist flask amount. And it takes 3,000 souls for us to level up now. And we ha we currently have zero attunement slots. And I do believe this is the one we gave armor to. Like, I would have given her something more stylish. Oh, there you are. I'm here in Medula. You even were kind enough to clothe me. The only thing I can offer is Pyromancy. Which, we can't really do much there. It was a perilous trip. I faced the most frightening. <laughs> Luna, be safe. Yeah, so we can't really do much there. I can see if they have more Titanite shards for me to purchase over here. I do. But only, uh, small ones. So we're just going to have to go back to uh, the Ruined Road Fork and continue on. So going up, we have two ways we can go. We can go to the right or to the left. Uh, we'll go to the left. And we'll see what we're up against. Okay. required ahead. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> yeah, I figured there was going to be somebody back here who, uh... Oh, nope. I'm being attacked from behind. I'm being ganged up on. Yeah, uh, once you get into, like, the swing of things, you tend to just, like, pick up on, like, what is your preferred way of just dealing with enemies. And I tend to, fi tend to find that hiding behind my shield tends to be the way to go. Large Soul of Proud Knight. Twinkling Tight Knight times two. I'm gonna need that. Because there's no place, as far as I am aware, that gets us a bunch of, uh, Twinkling Titanite we can buy. Oh! 
That's an actual person. I didn't know that was an actual person. Like, I thought it was like a ghost NPC. Okay. Let me, uh, run away for a bit. That's annoying. Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe and Golden Falcon Shield. Shrine of Winter. Seek mightier souls. Okay. Might as well take a look at that new axe we just found, though. Dragon Slayer's Crescent Axe. We have the requirements to use it. Beloved Black Axe of the Gallant Shieldless Lothian, formerly of Ferocia. Lothian is, was unbeatable in terms of ferocity, but he abruptly retire, retired from the battlefield and was never heard from again. He sought to slay a legendary dragon. Alright, let's see this shield here. Not a 100% block rate. Like, my big gripe is that, it, that it's not a 100% block rate. Which is a problem. No 100%? And you're in trouble. Uh, we did get... Did we get, like, any sort of new helmet? Germ helm... thing is, uh, if I put on this germ helm, like, it just barely keeps me out of, uh, what's it called, the, uh, Woods there. And I'm assuming this is where we need to go. So can I fight these guys? Or do they just run away? Oh, okay. I'm going to assume that every time this guy fall, falls over, we're going to have to, uh...
Yeah, uh, our weapon does nothing to this guy. Like, I, I need a ranged option. And that's my thing, is I'm not high enough leveled for that. And that is on me. So, yeah. Alright, let's go get my stuff back. Use human effigy to restore my humanity, because otherwise we just get that nasty demerit. Like, I will point out that the whole, like, thing about us getting a health demerit every time is just really obnoxious. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go, uh, burn through these runes. I mean, souls. So, apparently you don't want to go in here with, like, full, full-on, uh, stuff here. So if we hug the right wall... Supposedly we'll be able to just find an item here. Lloyd's Talisman, plus two. Yeah, uh, apparently you don't want to like, fight anyone in here. You kind of just want to run through here, because you can't see. Old sun ring. ring. So we're just gonna run around here and hope we find a way out of here. Oh, hey, that worked. Aha! I got lucky. And that guy is an enemy, clearly. Radiant Life Gym. Yeah, let's, uh, slap these healing items in here. Because you can't lock onto these guys. You kind of just have to 
play this stamina game with them. Oh, and they can parry me? That's good to know. I might as well not even bother with them if that's the case. Oh, okay, there's some sort of death-blighting enemy in here. Magic bolt. Oh, nope, I just got backstabbed. Damn. Oh, there was apparently a bonfire I missed there. So I'm going to have to run past everything and work from there. <laughs>